today. Five new house guests and four returning house guests embark on a day long power struggle for like a hundred bucks or something. Welcome to Big Brother at Home. Welcome house guests, veterans of the game and newbies. Take a good look around you. The person standing next to you could be your next greatest ally, or they might just stab you in the back. <laughs> or they may have already done that before. Inside the Big Brother house, anything can happen. Only one thing is for certain. Ultimately, each of you is on your own. This is, above all, a competition. A demanding day-long power struggle with only one winner. You will be cut off from the outside world with no access to your phone. You must rely on your ability to strategize, compete, forge alliances, and make deals to make it to the end of the game. And this year, there will not be a chance to battle back into the game. So when you're out, you're out. Is everyone ready? Yes. yes. Okay, one last thing before you enter the house. We have a very special message from one of the actual legends of Big Brother on TV. She was the second runner up on both Big Brother 6 and Big Brother All Stars. She was a coach on Big Brother 14 and a contestant on this most recent season of The Amazing Race. She is known as one of the most iconic players in Big Brother history. If you are a fan of this show, you should know who she is. Without further ado, here is your special message from Janelle Pierzina. Hey, this message is for the Big Brother at Home house guests. I just wanted to give you a little bit of advice and pump you up for the start of the day. So my first big thing of advice is to find an alliance that you can definitely trust. You wanna find people that you know have your back throughout the game, that aren't gonna vote you out, that will always vote with you and have your back. And even if they're a bigger target than you, that's fine too. Of course, if you're a woman, find some like big, hunky guy or whatever with like a lot of muscle. They're usually targeted before you. My other piece of advice is if you are being targeted, just win the power veto. Don't try to talk yourself out of it because the power veto is like the easiest way to save yourself that week. Okay, have a great day. All right, house guests, you may now enter the house, get settled, and introduce yourselves to one another until further instruction. And remember, house guests, Big Brother's mantra is expect, expect the, the unexpected. unexpected. My name is Kagan. I am 25 years old and I currently run a brewery. The biggest fan. I, I'm gonna be real. I was more of a fan of the like original people and I'm not so much about this all you have to do is have a six pack and be on TV court of gal but you know work. Be good. So do you want to just like introduce everybody's name one more time? I'm Megan. I'm Ian. I'm Annie. Brittany. I had an alias set but I'm gonna go with my real name is Kagan. <laughs> I also have an alias set. <laughs> oh my god. I'm green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my name is George. Dawson. So you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm excited. excited. My name is Megan, and I am 24, and I am a business development rep. What was your experience like playing Big Brother before? There are so many twists and turns, and you think that you can trust somebody, but luckily I was able last time to stick with somebody. I think the biggest thing last year is when I switched roles on my husband and got him out. This person was honest with me, and I was honest with him, so therefore, I'm sorry, Kayla, but I vote to evict you. <laughs> Told you. Wow. I told you, congratulations. It's gameplay, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's the one that's getting me on the <laughs> list. Yeah. I know my sister Brittany, she kind of gave that away, which I really didn't want her to, because there's some people that I don't know us, but it's okay. We're we not getting this on camera. Okay. I'm Brittany, I am 29 years old. I am a hairdresser and I'm pumped to play. I'm excited to play this time because I'm all in and I don't feel like I put my all into it because of certain dramatics. I'm kind of a chameleon, so I feel like I can get along pretty much with anybody. I've always been that way. I'm a go with the flower, so whichever way I go, 
it's just gonna be good. Megan, she actually is my sister. Annie, she works with my husband. I'm Annie, I'm 26. I've never seen it. So ever. you didn't know who Janelle was? No. <laughs> I thought she was beautiful and sounded badass, but I had no idea who she was. I kind of want to play it solo, but also make some friends and strategize with them and keep them on my side, but I might not stick with it. I am far too sober I'm for this really morning. Good my name is George and I'm 29. I'm gonna get really drunk and make tons of fun. I'm a master strategist. Also, I am an expert liar. I've read The Art of War and many other books on strategy. <laughs> My name is Dawson. I am 19 years old. I am a delivery driver. This is completely, completely new to me. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna wing it because that's usually my strategy for just about everyday life. Playing it by ear pretty much. Do you know anyone else here that's playing? Ian. I used to work with him. I'm Ian, I'm 21 years old, and this time I think more instead of me being like a puppet, I'm gonna try to take a little charge, compete a little harder. I know a couple people, um, Megan, Brittany, Dawson too, but Megan is my biggest concern right off the bat. If I would pay attention to be like, oh, he's an asshole, you're like, you're right, I, I am, I am an asshole, you're so right. Okay, we're not supposed to know this, but Bree and I have already known each other, but we're playing the gig like we don't know each other, and we're gonna hopefully throw some backs later on in the game, so watch out for that. But actually, my favorite Pokemon are Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Squirtle. Kagan, I met during college. I'm Bree, I am 27, and I teach eighth grade English. I have never seen Big Brother. And I said like the slogan with you guys a half second late. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. <laughs> house guests, as I told you before you entered the house, Big Brother's mantra is Expect, expect the unexpected. unexpected. You may have been wondering if this is in fact everyone playing in the game today. Well, just like last season, that is not the case. That's right, it's time for your first twist. Please welcome your reigning champion from Big Brother oh at Home 3, God. AJ. Oh. Wow. Yes. My name is AJ. I am a massage therapist, a bartender, and I am 29 years young pumped for this season. I think we have a lot of smart minds out there. I'm gonna have to do something completely different. You know, I'm public enemy number one, and that's fine by me. I'm coming in with that expectation. I'm just gonna try and talk to people, be friendly, kind, courteous, do the best that I can. That's all I can do, right? Please take a seat with the rest of the house guests. You are now our ninth Hi. house guest. From last season, I know Megan. I know my buddy, George. As winner of The Last Big Brother at Home, you have been given a very special advantage, but also a huge responsibility. This twist is called Ticket to the HOH. Here are five admit one tickets. You will choose five people who are going to receive a ticket. If you receive a ticket, you will be eligible to compete in the first head of household competition. If you do not receive a ticket, you will have to sit out of the first competition. And AJ may choose how he would like to use his five choices. He may choose to give himself a ticket so he can play and the other four to other house guests, or he may choose to sit out and give all five to other house guests. Regardless of his strategy, he must choose five people in total, leaving four people sitting out of the first competition. This decision is entirely up to you, AJ. Make it wisely, but not yet. AJ's decision will be announced immediately prior to the first HOH competition. Does everyone understand? Yes. All right. Welcome back. Hey. It's okay. All of our Okay, so I was gifted these tickets, guys. Last year, I was so upset because like for the first three competitions, I didn't get to play. So I'll probably give myself one. My mantra in the game is I want the toughest people to compete against me so that way when I win, it feels that much greater of an award. Good morning. She's the line of Love it. I'm playing the kindest. I gave him a hug. I said, oh my gosh, it's so sweet to see you. Absolutely not. First one gone. Bye. AJ, George, get out. I'm sorry. You got to go already. I win the HOH. Your two asses are up. I'm making sure I win the veto. You're going the f home. Oh, so I teach middle school. Yes. What? What? Yes. So I wasn't listening. What do I do? <laughs> Hello, 
house guests. It Hello. is almost time to crown the first head of household. But first, AJ, have you made your decisions at this time? I think so. All right, then please stand up and tell us what you will be doing with your first ticket to the head of household. Uh, I'm going to be giving my ticket to me because I want right. to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, tell us what you will do with your second ticket. I'll give it to my friend, Bree. All right, your third Four. ticket. Yeah. Yeah. No. Your fourth? Give it to my friend, Megan. Thank you. And you finally, are. tell us what you would like to do with your fifth and final ticket to the HOH. I'll give it to this guy here, George. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> so, Ian, oh, yeah. Megan, George, Bree, and AJ, you will all be competing in the first head of household competition. Let's get it. Let's get it. Which also means Annie, Brittany, Dawson, and Kagan. Hello. You four will be sitting out of the first HOH competition. The head of household is the most powerful position inside the Big Brother house. Free from the threat of eviction, the HOH is responsible for putting two house guests on the chopping block. This power is now up for grabs. This competition is called Toss Up, and here's how it works. One at a time, you will step up to the edge of the deck and take your turn throwing two balls. Your goal is to land them in any of the 10 buckets in the yard. Each bucket is worth a different number of points. Your total after two throws will be your score. Whoever racks up the most points with their two throws will be the first head of household of Big Brother at Home 4. If you take the lead, you will stand in the winner's circle until someone else takes the lead or you win. If there is a tie for the win after everyone has thrown twice, those tied will throw one more time until the tie is broken. Does everyone understand? Yes. Good. All right, Megan, you are up first. Oh, that is three points on your first throw. <laughs> Yes. All right, that's a one. Megan, your total oh, is four oh. points. You can take your place in the lead. Ian is up next. He missed his first throw. And his second throw. I'm so sorry, Ian, you have been eliminated. Zero points. Okay, cool. All right, that's three points. And that is six points. That is nine points, Bree. You have taken the lead. Next up is George. All right, George, your first throw. Go ahead. Zero. Throw number two. That is eight points. I'm so sorry. That is not enough to beat Bree. It was too bouncy. Underhand. That's the key. The last one is last year's winner, AJ. That is one point. Have to get an eight or higher. And that's zero, which does mean congratulations, Bree. You are the first head of household of Big Brother at Home 4. Congratulations. Yay! <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Woo! That was on my tape, because uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I know, it was <laughs> <laughs> So Bree just won the first HOH. Yeah, she's boss. Number one. She's boss. Her yes, boss. How are you guys boss. feeling about her? I really like her. Oh, I love Bree. She's gonna be on our team. Our team. She already knows this. Everyone here is on our team. Yes, I like it. Whole team. This year, everyone's friends. Big family. Yes, it's gonna be hard. Her, Do you feel like weird care. about anybody right now? Just the people that I don't really know, which is Annie. Not Duke. Uh, Duncan, no Dawson. Dawson. What do you think that she's gonna do? Who? Breathe. I think 
We're all safe. I think she wants the smarter and stronger competitors with her. I won't be surprised Ooh. if I'm up on the chopping block. You really think so? I was the only one that played with you last year on this team. But everybody knows because I showed up and they Yeah, but like, I don't think they watched the video, so they oh. have no idea what went down. They said last year's reigning champ. Well, I know, but I'm saying like they don't know how you won or why oh, you won. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. If you're a competitor or if you strategize, so I think that's yeah. a good thing that they didn't watch those yeah. videos. Everybody's super friendly and nice. There's not any like super shade going on yet, but it's the first round. Who's gonna go up on the block? What do you think? I don't know, probably one of the new guys. Um, Maybe me? I mean, who knows? Who do you think's the biggest competition here? Oh, well, then you're gonna get out immediately. <laughs> you know, I'm like this getting out. really nervous because I, I don't want to pick I two people. I know, don't you hate it? I don't, I actually didn't want to get higher than you. Oh, well. But I was like, I don't want to actually get higher because then like, I'm put on the spot first. If I'm put on the spot, I want it to be later. No dice. It's hard. I have no idea. It's the toughest thing ever. I'm just going to like pick two people and hold it. And then what's nice, I mean, they still have a chance to win the power veto. So you have to look at it that way. I think I'm going to pick two people who I think could win the power veto. And who I want to see like go against the country. That's what I think. I'm so excited. Yeah. I just I got this. here. Everybody is I know, so that's nice. nice. I know, that's what I said. I'm like, this is going to be the hardest thing like, oh. ever because everybody is amazing. Yeah, I don't want you guys to see out of the competition. I don't want to be out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like, We're going to get drunk and make up in the corner. Because I played oh. one other time with a girlfriend that was playing. I kept telling everyone. I don't want her to be upset because I knew it was going to be her or me. I love you. I love you. I made it. Like, me. I'm going to get drunk. 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 I have super bad anxiety and I have like, I'm a super introvert. You're an introvert and you're a teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot. But I tell my students, I'm like, hey, I'm an introvert. So if you see me at my desk and like not talking mm -hmm. to you, it's not because it's not like, it's it's, I was like, it's not you. I'm just like, just my brain I'm right. overwhelmed a yeah. little bit right now. And then like, I will come to you when I'm ready. I teach middle schools. They're awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So like, we're all in the game. I love it. Yeah, it's gonna so be good. Enough. It's gonna be good. I know it is. I know it is. I was okay not playing. I've made enough of a like an impact yeah. to not be that person yeah. that gets yeah. I'm trying, cut off. Yeah, I mean obviously we all want to win, yeah. but right. it's like I love everybody here already, so it's yeah. like I wouldn't say I love them. everyone. No. No. I'm just okay, kidding. hey, that's just, okay, dude. You know, okay. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I think Ian's a good player. I don't know about you yet. You get the game uh, though. I got faith. Yeah. I got yeah. faith in this guy. But obviously, yeah. I'm sure like everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, your sister's with yeah. Megan." Yeah, dude. I feel like this right here, you know, someone who knows the competition, yeah. a strong male yeah. for competition, and, and someone who flies under the radar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a chameleon, man. I'm a hairdresser, so yeah. I talk to people. Yeah. Like, that's just right, how right. My, my game. Unless every single one of us isn't picked, yeah. one of us will be playing for veto. If one of us wins the veto and we like who's on the bar, yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. I think we're going to do All right, yo. It's a win! Yeah, she got it. Yeah, she got somehow it. I won the thing. But <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's like all this pressure because I don't know who to pick. I'm not are ready. You, I'm not ready looking, for this. Are you shit. looking to kind of like ride with the people, or are you trying to do your own thing? I have no idea because no, I've never I'm seen the show. Yeah. I'm trying to not have everyone hate me from round one. <laughs> yeah, you can also pitch it like, hey, you know, I'm like new to this game. I'm just trying to like feel the situation out. These are the people I'm putting up just because yeah. I want to see how things roll. No hard feelings type deal. And yeah. I don't think anybody's going to be mad at you. You can't beat around the bush. It has to happen. Somebody yeah. has to go up. Well, two people have to go up. I'm just gonna do it in yes. the moment because I don't really want to like premeditate it too much because then I feel like it's, it's personal. It's Whoever like, you pick though, they're gonna go after you. Yeah, I, know. I just want you to know that the know. first two. But also in reality, they might not go after you because it is the first pick and somebody has to go up, so there might not be hard feelings at all. She's about to pick her two people to put on the nomination block and. I'm kind of stuck in a pickle because I did not know that AJ was coming back. We went really far last year, but I kind of have a secret alliance right now with Ian. My sister thinks I'm going like final two with her. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'd really kind of like to switch it up and maybe go with Ian just because AJ did win last year. So we'll see how good my social game is to kind of keep this a secret for as long as possible before I actually have to put some work in and, and win some competitions. But right now I'm just gonna lay low. I feel like there's all this pressure because I'm like singling people out and I hate putting people on the spot and I don't want people to think that like, 
I'm their enemy right from the get-go but I also like you kind of are my enemy because I'm trying to win um <laughs> I like already see like the people who kind of know each other. Part of me is like, mm, let's break that up. But then I'm like, mm, no, they can win power to veto and come back and double team me. I feel like people already kind of know like who I have aligned with. So I'm like, maybe I should put one of them up and just know if they're gonna win power to veto. You know what I mean? Thank you. Kagan, that's my name. <laughs> and the last keep. Still love you, Brian. Annie. <laughs> I have nominated you, George, and you, Dawson. This was the hardest situation. <laughs> yeah. And to be honest, there wasn't much strategy going into this. I am not trying to single either of you guys out. I still am. Thank you. Two people have to be chosen, and I thought that you two would be awesome going against each other for the power of veto. I kind of just want to like see that. So that's that. This ceremony is adorned. <laughs> We just got put up for elimination. What, what are your thoughts on that? We are so offended to be picked first. How dare you choose us? I mean, I'm kind of hurt a little bit, but not to the point where I'm gonna be upset about it. Like I understand it's a, it's a difficult decision, but I don't know. So I'm shocked that I'm not on the chopping block, but I'm, um, what I tell you though? I know. So do you want George or Dawson to win? I'm gonna have to say I want George to win. Because I always want the toughest competitors yeah. to win, you know? But then who do you think she's gonna put out? My guess is probably someone she's not familiar with. I think Bree's smart, and I think if she's gonna want people who can help carry her through. You know, just like we decided back, then, back in the day. The two strongest competitors are you and me. And that's why I brought you in here. So are we good? We're good. Right. Pinky promise? Sorry. <laughs> Kiss don't, don't f*** me over. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I don't know. She might put me up. She could put you up. Yeah. She could put Ian up. We're talking about who is, Strategy. if George or Dawson win the veto, who do you think she's going to There are no secrets in this game. No, 100%. 100%. So for me, like my, my MO in the game last year yeah. was, I want the toughest competitors competing against me. Yeah. Always. But then there are people who can be lame and be like, oh, let's get the tough people out. But like, yeah. what if you need somebody with like strength or like a different skill set that you don't think you possess, you know? Yeah. What if we play like a chicken match or in, in a pool or something and you need like a strong guy and like so a lightweight person? You never know. You never know. 
All right, yeah, I just want to see where you guys' heads were at. I don't know what she's going to do or who she's going to put up if they win. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking about, about the options. Think it's a game of thinking, so. Yeah. You said that yourself. AJ's got a good idea of it because he's wanted. I want to keep him around too because like he just told me right outside is, what if I need him at the end and he needs me? You know what I mean? It's strong and strong. Like we could use that. I could make it a lot farther with him. I am a little nervous, but that's the point of it. It's a good nervous because we're all competing for something. It's time to pick players for the Power of Veto competition. Woo! The winner of the Power of Veto can upset the balance of power in the house by taking one nominee off the chopping block forcing the head of household to name a replacement. Only six people will participate. The head of household, the two nominees, and three other players chosen by random draw. The winner of the veto may choose to remove one nominee from the chopping block, or they may keep the nominations intact. The veto holder will reveal his or her decision at the veto meeting. If the veto holder does decide to use the power of veto on one of the two nominees, the head of household must be prepared to immediately name a replacement nominee. Again, only six people will participate in this competition. The head of household, the two nominees, and three other house guests selected by random draw. Will the two nominees please join me up here? I will draw the names of three different house guests. Whoever's name is drawn will be selected to play. If I draw myself or one of my nominees, that player will have house guest choice and choose who they want to compete. Hagen. Woo! Yep. 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 Hagen. Reagan with a K. Reagan yeah. with a K. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Dawson. Uh, and, and Annie. Woo! As H O H, I will also choose a host for this competition. And I choose Ian. Woo! A host. I'm safe right now. I don't have to compete on the host. So I just kind of want to see how these people play this competition. I just got the chance to play for the power of veto. Okay. I feel really comfortable with who's on the block right now. Yep. If I win, stay in the same for me. I think that's the plan. Yep. I mean, is that what you feel comfortable yeah, oh, 100%, with? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I like where she's working. I like her choices. Okay. What do you think about uh, Megan? She's played this before. Right? Yeah, she's she has. Right she has. She's, cool she's, cool. she's, she's okay. She's, she's not someone I want to see necessarily towards, towards the, the end. end. Exactly, but yeah, but she's not say, the target right now. She did say she's going to try to keep us. Out. Yeah, work. She means that. For us. Work. She um, owes me that. I mean, our previous alliance with Brittany feels okay. Okay, so like we okay. said when Brittany came over here. Right. She, she, she just kind of, she, she, yeah, so she, she, she added on to us. Mm -hmm. We have to watch who she Yes, because this is where it's at. She wants to get under the lead. We're not going to let her. Don't touch me, I'm famous. I'm just kidding. He's iconic. Yeah. <laughs> I kinda He's eat. Iconic. I kinda eat. I kinda eat. Alright, so that's what we're feeling. So Toodles. Toodles. I'm still I'm still yeah. creepy from the black. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm god. Still, I'm still going on the black. <laughs> <laughs> you see the age of his but now I'm shocked. <laughs> And I talked about it in the diary room I earlier. Okay, that yeah, we totally. have this kind of going on, but we don't want anyone to know. Mm -mm. I'm gonna be real. So Ian and I have formed a little kind of like, it's just, I like Ian too. So I'm willing to keep him, but then when it gets towards the end, I'm a no, hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Yeah. I'm gonna get George. Honestly, my number one target right now is George. Mm -hmm. So we talked about it. Megan I just has didn't a lot want of him Megan has right a lot of friends. We got to get Megan out like round three. Yeah, okay. That's when we got to try to get him out. 
Yeah. We're the outsiders here. Yeah, like, we are. So that's why I'm like, well, I'm we can't in, upset so Megan at the beginning no. because she has so many friends. Brittany thought she was in an alliance with Ian and I. She just kind of came into our diary room. Mm, and so, like, yeah. we're okay. And she thinks Ian and I, but we're not. I was in the diary room with Ian and Megan. Mm. And we like talked some stuff out, and that's when I like decided that we might be a good alliance. Yeah, I think Ian's the um, one, but let's get Megan out mid game. Okay. That's... Yeah, totally. Right. Mm. Got one more power, Vito. <laughs> Keeping cold working out. No big deal. Channeling my inner Julie Chan. You know she can crush a lot with her thighs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Guest. Hi! Welcome, Welcome to your first person. Power of Veto competition. The winner of this competition will have the power to remove one of the nominees from the chopping block or keep the nominations the same. Here are the rules and listen carefully. In the pool, you will find letters hidden in the soapy suds. On go, you will begin collecting letters. You have eight minutes to bring letters back to the table and spell the longest word you can and as fast as you can. Once you have finished spelling your word, raise your hands in the air and shout done. Once everyone has finished, or once the eight minutes are up, everyone will reveal the word they have spelled. Whoever spells the longest correctly spelled word will win the power of veto. These words must be real words and they cannot be proper. If there is a tie for the longest word, it will be broken by whoever finished their word first. The timer will announce out loud each time a minute has passed by and will stop the competition once eight minutes have passed. Are you ready to play Sudsy Spelling Bee? Yes! yes. yes. Right. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. <laughs> sorry, Priest. It's okay. Oh, I'm thinking... My fault. I apologize. <laughs> just... Done. Done. AJ's done. Done. Breeze done. Done. Dawson is done. Ready to go, Dawson. Four minutes. Two, you Make sure you put it in your folder. Yep. Done right. time. It's not right, Josh. I don't even know which word There's I'm more spelling. going in the pool. You could do that. Yeah. There's so many. <laughs> you can make so many words. You can borrow from our buttons. No, you can't. Well, I'm not helping you. This is a competition. Spelling is not my strong suit. <laughs> this competition is not your strong suit. Put something in the oh I have hyphens. 45 seconds.
Done? You need to say time when you're done. Alright. Alright, Annie. Yes. Please reveal your word. Jacuzzi. Your word is jacuzzi. I believe that's spelled right. Okay. And that is seven letters. You are currently in the lead with seven letters. Who is next? I have no chance. I spelled the word Mississippi. No, that's a proper noun. Yeah. I am so sorry, AJ. That is a proper noun. So oh, you really? have to oh to shit. Oh. But no that's name. a great word. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I was gonna Who's tell next? You guys I, was, I was like, oh, I'm an English teacher. I should help it out. I spelled oh. marinated. Damn, girl. All right. That is a correctly spelled nine letter word, putting you in the lead with nine letters. All right. Who is next? Dawson? Dawson. Uh, Dawson, please reveal your word. All right. Prayer. This, this is going to be huge. <laughs> Lamb! <Lamp. laughs> that is a correctly spelled four letter word, but I'm so sorry. It is not enough to be three. Hagen. Um, I believe on its own it's still a word. I'm not sure though. I had anti disestablishment. Did he spell it right? We, we see, There's an H missing. Oh There's no! H missing. There's an H missing. Oh! That's right. No, that's fair. That's okay. fair. I'm that's sorry, fair. I saw it. I saw. I saw it when you did. That's Lenny fine. Stays in the lead. George. I chose to do super Californian attitude. California with spelled hyphens. with an I, but. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Super is spelled right, but you go. put a bunch of other letters on here. Hello. This is spelled wrong, and this is spelled wrong, unfortunately. <laughs> well, yeah. Good. I'm so sorry, George. Woo, Brady! Nice job, Brady. Congratulations, Brady. Thank you, Brady. Brady. Thank you the power oh. of Vito. And she's got it. And she's got it. Uh -huh. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay! spelled a really long word so I looked good but then I took away an H and I threw it back in the pool so that I wouldn't win. I didn't want to put a target on my back as a strong competitor but I wanted people to know that if they put me on the block I'm gonna compete. So I tried to do kind of a one-two switch of like hey I'm gonna compete but like listen this is not I'm not gonna you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Double yeah, look at you. Double All the power. Yes, all the power. I gotta say, I'm feeling okay about it. I like Bree. I'm in a safe zone right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know what she's gonna do. Wait, so now, wait, what happens is she, she can choose to keep the nominations the same or take someone off the block. She, she, and she made the nominations. Yeah, yeah. So, she's so she's probably, probably gonna, keep them, gonna keep them the same. So, yeah. So. I choose Dawson already. Yeah. Bye. Sorry, Dawson. I just haven't talked to you. I'm so sorry. I don't you. I'm sorry, man. He's been my best friend yeah, since high school. Yeah, you need to go talk to Bree. Yeah. Can I tell you what I think? Okay. This is my theory. I yes. think you should keep the votes the same. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think Dawson's going. That's what I think. Yeah. I mean, he's a nice guy. He's like very antisocial. And it's gonna suck. I feel bad. You like... can't feel bad though. Here's the thing. Has he come and actually talked to you about like no. to try and sway you at all? No. That's, I, I that's, talked to that's him. That's dumb of him. He should. Neither of them did. Neither neither of them did. Here's the thing. Like, as people keep getting eliminated, there's going to be alliances that form. I mean, right. you know, that's just the way the game goes. I'm not going against George. Mm -hmm. I think George can beat Dawson, so I, I wasn't worried about it. What's the tea, Christine? I mean, well... Here's the tea. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of hoping, you know, I can stay in. Because yeah, sure. if I can move further, that'd be kind of awesome. But if not, I mean, it is what it is. Right. But ultimately, it's On the real seasons, to, you'd be labeled a floater, and that's okay. I mean, you know. No, that's good, though. That's it just good. comes down to what goes on in their mind. I mean, I'm going to be real with you right now. I don't feel like you are as big of a threat or someone I want to get out as George. So right now, for me, my vote is George. But like, maybe moving forward, if I don't cast a vote for you, like, you might, in a time in need, you know, someone kind of on the fence say, hey, listen, he saved me week one, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I got you. All right, I feel you on that. I'm just gonna take the ball and run with it at this point. The nominations might change. I feel like Bree's smart enough to, you know, eliminate some of the stronger, competition and me personally i feel like my four letter lamp wasn't that strong maybe put me out of consideration for elimination how do you feel about dawson 
I don't know. I know him the least. Same with me, and I feel like that's why I'm making my decision because when I was just talking with everybody back here, like they're all pretty sure that they're gonna, because we're gonna have to vote, right? Right. So, and either it's George or Austin. Do you think that you're gonna leave it the same, probably? Yeah. Because I mean, you're the one that made the decision in the first place, so who right. else are you gonna put so there? So I feel like if I like renege on that decision, yeah. like then that seems like flaky. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I need to yeah. stick with my yep, like I agree. gut. Good. So. Okay. Good. We're all on the same page. Yeah. How do you feel right now? I feel pretty safe too because I went back there and like we talked and I asked her. But I feel like she's going to keep the nomination. Oh, she is. I asked her straight up. I mean, I just, I'm, yeah. the, I'm very You keep it real. Yeah, you're real I'm like, are you going to keep it real to you? Are you going to keep it this way? And I'm like, mm -hmm. I figured she would anyways because she had a hard yeah. enough time trying to figure out who right. she and wanted to be. Right, it's week one you don't want to yeah, like, like, rustle any feathers. Exactly. So I so feel safe. safe. We safe. I feel. And if we're not, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Like, shoot. Like, we're fine. I'll see. I'll shake. Yeah, we're good. I'm good. We're good. I don't think. No, we ain't worried. I ain't worried. Yeah. No, team. Okay. Where's my gin? Time out, though. Anything can happen. And Bri could change your mind. Bri could be like, oh shit, AJ just what a long word. And he's a tough competitor. Maybe I want him out. You know? Yeah. You, you should go talk to Bri. Yeah, you should you definitely should. really quick. But go talk to her on your own. But for real, though. Like, that's, that's just formality. That's just good, strong character. Yeah. Can I get drunk? <laughs> wait, wait. So yes, yeah, so I was just like getting, was really nervous. And then I got here and I was just like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna win all the competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna slay. Bitch, you better tell him. You done won me over, girl. You done won me uh, I want the toughest competitors to compete against me because then it's so much greater of a reward when, right? when well, I'm doing better, okay, you know? But eventually, they have to take out one of the sisters. Yeah, I know. They could absolutely destroy us. Yeah, and I'm like, I really love both of them. Yeah. So I, like, I haven't decided which one. But I'm like, uh, we can't. I, they both can't stay. I think they're both sneaky. I don't. I don't know Britney's mindset as much. I know that. Like, I know Megan can play a game. So it is. So what maybe it is. she's the one that needs to go. Yeah, maybe. But I don't know. Britney's a quiet one, so she could be the silent but deadly one. Right, but I, yeah. I'm silent but deadly. Like, I always have this connection with Britney. It's like yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. Just don't want to double cross you. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing my thing, like... Yes. You don't double-cross me. No, I got your back. Okay. For sure. Absolutely. Here, pinky promise. Kiss okay. it. Okay. Woo! Cool. This is the veto meeting. George and Dawson have been nominated for eviction. Oh. But I have the power to veto one of the nominees. You both have one final chance to tell me why I should use the power of veto on you. I will continue drinking all day. <laughs> what? All right. Work. Good explanation. Uh, Max. <laughs> Dawson, stand up. All right. And explain, explain why you want to be yourself. here. So I feel like I should stay in because I feel like I could be a big benefit in helping in eliminating other competition. All right. Awesome. Okay. Okay, that's All a good right. thank you for that. Well, I have decided not to use the power of veto. Gotta keep it the same. I, I was the, you know, the H O H. I feel like it would be cheating if I reneged on that decision. This veto meeting is adjourned. I feel a little upset about it, but I'm not gonna let it take over. Just gonna, you know, fight my way through it and see how it works out in the end. How you feeling? Sober. George is annoying. <laughs> He's really good friends with AJ. I'm not playing the good guy. I'm gonna kind of play both sides. I'm gonna kind of feel it out. Two-faced, whatever you want to call it. I'm just trying to win this thing. Queen Bree, you keep doing your thing, baby. You're the shit. You are. I think you're gonna go pretty far in this game. 
Hey guys, it's Brett. Thank you so much for watching the premiere of Big Brother at Home 4. Just remember, we're gonna have new episodes every single Friday for the next six weeks. You probably noticed that this episode was a little bit longer than some episodes have been on past seasons. I tried to fit more content into each episode this season so that it feels more like a full length TV episode. So that does also mean that there are going to be less episodes this season than there have been in the past. This season is a seven episode series. So there'll be one episode every single Friday for the next six weeks, seven weeks total. Let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think about having longer episodes, shorter seasons. Let me know if you guys enjoy that, what you guys think, it means a lot to me. So let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this premiere episode, make sure you like this video, share this video, talk about it with your friends, post a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know who you like, who you're rooting for so far. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, you know, all the good YouTube stuff because you do not want to miss a single episode of this. And make sure you tune in next Friday to find out who the first house guest evicted of the season will be, as well as to find out who will take power in the second round and who they're gonna nominate. It's gonna be exciting stuff, so don't miss it.